All right, everybody, get ready for another badass episode of Vinyl Voices Radio. Cross Town Brewery supplying some good beers for us, some Frank's Pizza. And this week, who's going to be on? Yep, this week we have Shame on Me. They're over there cutting up right now. They're chomping at the bit. They're ready to go. It's going to be. It's going to be some chomping. Yeah. At the bit. And cutting up. With some cutting up. Yep. All right. Wait, say what? For the fellowship. This is Vinyl Voices Radio, 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 ESPN 97.5. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm John Dooman. Jesse Sudehan. All right, this is Vinyl Voices Radio here on ESPN. I'm John Dooman. He's Jesse Sudehas. And like I said, we have a badass show tonight. We do. It's going to be fun. Uh, we got some Frost Town beers. Yeah, delicious good stuff mm-hmm. All right, nice brewery too oh it is this is a good, good place to go hang out especially around baseball time yeah right down the street from the ballpark Frank's Pizza which is also right down the street from the ballpark that's right mm-hmm. you know, so we're starting off starting off on a good note right we are and then uh, the stories that's been going on in here so far already <clears throat> stuff that we've learned in such a short amount of time it's not really about the band though <laughs> Uh, it's gonna go so well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What you say? What you say, dude? <laughs> well, we do. Ha- we have shame on me here, y'all. That's how y'all doing there. out there? Hi. We have uh, Rogelio, Mel, Jules, and y'all might recognize this fella, Pat Kelly. Three time, third time. On the third time. Third time. I think that's, that's, that's a charm. You should have co-hosted this one. Just I would sit over there. Yeah. After three times, you get to co-host. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Set it up. Mark, you, you, you know, you're all the my agent. Talk to your agent. Yeah. <laughs> all style. That's, That's the way we do. Right. <laughs> oh, but. Well, shame on me. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Yeah, welcome to the garage. And uh, no, it's as you guys have been playing, you know, for quite some time now. Uh, I've seen a few of your shows. And they're just they're just entertaining. They're very good. Yeah. So excited to play your music on the show tonight. Thank yeah. you. We're Thank excited. You. We're excited for all of it. Uh, like I said, Pat's been here a few times, so he kind of gave us a lowdown. So don't try no dirty tricks on us. We know everything. <laughs> We're not the that. expert in here. <laughs> well, we can't do everything every time the same way. I mean, you got, it's got to change. I know. Some, I was so. a little yeah. jealous with the whole poolside thing. If it wasn't like coming down like the, the yeah. arm again <laughs> of rain right now, that would be. Uh, yeah. That would be cool. Well, like John said, Pat hasn't seen all the dirty tricks. Oh. So. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> we all find out. Get that James Brown video down. back out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's some more. <laughs> all right, let's talk about some music. How about okay. that? Right. Yeah. What song are we going to listen to first? All right. This is the first on this show. The first song we're going to listen to is Shame on Me, which is also the name of the band, y'all. Yeah. So uh, I... I always think it's cool like when a band says the band's name in the song. <laughs> but sometimes they just sneak it in. They don't actually say, title the song, the name of the band. Yeah. Yeah, but that's what these guys did. Yeah, most of the time people don't even get the name of the band even though we say it. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's really, it's like, what's the name of your band yeah. again? Shame on me. Yeah, um, yeah that's just... Uh, a song about learning your lesson over and over and over again. I don't know what that's going to be. Shame yeah. on you. <laughs> All right, let's listen. Done me wrong. Save me like a fool. That ain't no way to treat me, boo.
Shame on me, yeah. singing shame on me. Yeah. 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 Shame on us, you know. Shame on us. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's talking about, man. I live a good, straightforward life and no regrets and just, I'm just <laughs> For real. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, look at the weather outside right now. You don't have much time. It's no coming. Regrets. So go have fun. No regrets. <laughs> Glad we're playing it. The regrets. The regrets. Regrets. Okay, they're going on That's a the tangent. That's the second time I got you with that <laughs> word. No. I'm going to reel it back in. Okay. Reel it back. No, I, I mean, I think that's a good place for us to start with that song because, you know, uh, we are talking about before the show about how diverse the sound is. There's a whole bunch of different genres you guys pull from. And I like this one because it's got kind of that... 50s vibe to me yeah. but then there's some like current you know like boo is mentioned in there you know yeah. so it kind of like connects these you know eras expands genres that's right yeah from, from, well, from back a, then to now rose a big uh big influence in that with his guitar style he was a rockabilly dj for a good man when we first met he was he was djing for beers <laughs> at the Chinko Hut, <laughs> the <Continental. laughs> at the Continental. Yeah, yeah, I was a big, big into rockabilly. All in, um, actually, first time I got a taste of it was uh, I went to see Morrissey in '93, and he showed up, huh? Yeah, <laughs> this was back this when was he when showed this up. Was, this was, think, was his it like was for first your tour, arsenal. Yeah. It was like his second first or third solo. album, solo, and. Uh, yeah, I went and I was just like, you know, this kid in middle school, I didn't have, I didn't know anybody. I was just listening to music and I saw everybody was like super greased up. They had the 50s garb. And mm -hmm. After that, I was just like obsessed. Like, So, and then, you know, playing guitar and stuff, I always, that was like a big influence on me. Like, so. mm -hmm. I mean, it's good sound. Yeah. yeah, I always liked like the Supremes and girl groups, and so it just kind of went mm -hmm. with what with what he was listening to. So our playlist was always like really cool, and all the influences of like the traditional R and B, like uh, like Bruce Brown and Lil Richard <coughs> and stuff like that. That kind of that kind of pulled us in too. <laughs> James Brown interviews. James yeah. Brown <laughs> interviews. Ike Turner. Interviews. But like, yeah. but like more modern <laughs> stuff like too, that. you know, like <laughs> Shannon and the Clams and the Growlers, like mm -hmm. music like that kind of like, oh, okay, I can hear where it's kind of coming back, but I could do something more rocking with it or something different yeah. with it. Yeah. So it's, a, it's just, we just, what, call it like gumbo. <laughs> That's yeah. like it's best, rock and roll. Yeah, we told people, it's, it's just like rock and roll it's gumbo. rock like, and roll. Mm -hmm. 
there's so much like of everything we like just kind of just throw it in the pot and see what comes out but yeah i mean as a way you know it should be right i mean yeah. i don't know if you're a, i'm not a musician so i really don't know but if i was would i want to play the same sound all the time no. No. you know when they kind of get old a little bit yeah, yeah exactly like we we're we're like always experimenting with different sounds too like i think we have well our next album will have some like kind of psychedelic vibes to yeah. it too where we were uh, playing yeah. around with different went, sounds he I went, went kind of ZZ top yeah. for he went on okay. he went, went out there the, the billy gibbons rabbit hole with uh <laughs> uh just sounds you know i even revamped some of my amps and stuff kind of around his specific stuff so and you can hear some of it in that you know and uh using a big muff now which is totally not something that even goes with rockabilly or anything so like that it's just like oh. yeah we kind of just like we we really loved rockabilly but we wanted to do like so much more than just one thing because like when you go to like different shows and it's all the same genre it feels like it's the same thing over and over but you could literally probably put us in any lineup and we have a song that go that'll go with it you know it will make it sound like we belong here <laughs> and then we'll sing pretty <laughs> if that maybe the audience doesn't know y'all or but maybe has caught on that y'all are a married couple oh yeah, yeah. we're that's my ball and chain ladies <laughs> <laughs> but i think <laughs> i think you know this is a good opportunity for us to talk about you know that uh union you know it's like day to day we all know you husband and wife we do our thing yeah and, but you know having the creative aspect that and it too is it you know yeah. uh, jules was talking about the cheese man earlier like <laughs> so is it does it do y'all have like a but heads any time or oh. as far as what you want to do creatively yeah. like oh, <laughs> all the time, time. You know, like, we don't get through things without the eye roll that's how we know yeah. progress is being made yeah. <laughs> somebody has to leave the room so, you know, <laughs> let me tell you a little, little story this man i bought him i bought him the guitar that he plays like three years before he actually started playing it we had kids everything going on and then i was just like i'd been in a band before and it'd been four years and I'm like going crazy. I'm like, if you don't play that dang guitar, I'm gonna go find five guys who will. <laughs> what do you wanna play? Yeah, she had you no know, idea like I, could play. I didn't know he could play the way he's playing. You know, I'm still kinda mad about it. Just <laughs> all, the, all, the, all that time wasted. For real? <laughs> well, four years just, we were just sitting in the house Netflixing and YouTube and that gumbo and, had to like simmer. Yeah. 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 It did. It did. And but like the first uh, baby daddy was the first song uh -huh. and man i just someone told me about audacity oh. and i bought a microphone <laughs> yeah he did. and i he literally did. just went and layered everything like by myself yeah just so we would have Even something the, to try and get a lure uh, a band and we're trying yeah. to get so players it was know? just a maraca and uh just popping the snare and then her bass and then the guitar we just did it on like what four or five little layers yeah. Baby daddy. Yeah. Yep. Baby daddy. And then that just Sorry took off once one. people started hearing it. I'm like, all right, I guess we're doing something right. Yeah. <laughs> it got Billy's attention too. Yeah. Billy was like, That's how I really Billy. dig what y'all are doing. Billy, we miss you. Yeah. Where's he yeah. tonight? He he's is not feeling well. well. Yeah. He's not feeling well. Right. Yeah. There's yeah. five of us. Somebody's always. always <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 It ain't sick, though. Car is falling apart. Something. Right. <laughs> so, something's always happening. You yeah, know how You know how it is. is. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Man, I might write that song tonight. Yeah. Driving in Keeneland on a rainy skirt. night. <laughs> so just ain't right. Just yeah. Yeah. Just just ain't right. Oh, Lord have mercy. Let's not fight. <clears throat> Come on, drive shaft. Get back where you belong. <laughs> <laughs> like Tommy Boy. Yep. That's the name of the song. <laughs> See, we already just wrote half of it. <laughs> just like that. There and so there was no, even, not even any, you know, no eye rolling. No, it was just not like, yet. Oh, no, no, we're not to the not end yet. of the video. No, right, <laughs> There's just still a whole process. Three more Pace songs. yourself. <laughs> Quick, Muskrash, open up on Audacity. Let's build this. <laughs> For real. And send it to me, okay? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think my instrument's going to be like, 
<laughs> that's, that's that works. There's, they could do a sample it now. You'd be famous. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's take a break, and because I do need another beer, so let's frost down. But uh, this is Vinyl Voices Radio. We'll be right back. For over 30 years, the attorneys at Adley Law Firm have helped navigate their clients through car and truck accidents, premise liability claims, and other types of personal injury cases. They are board certified and have an aggressive reputation with insurance companies, and their caring approach to clients has made them one of Houston's best Google-reviewed personal injury firms. Live chat now with an Adley Law Firm representative at adleylawfirm.com or call 713-999-8669 for a free consultation. No fees unless they win your case. 713-999-8669. Key T Wellness, our friends down in Dickinson, is where you need to go if you're feeling sluggish, non-energetic, and non-motivated, not just when you're hungover. Get to know your numbers. As we get a little older, our hormone levels change, men and women. Key T Wellness can help. Weight loss, hormone optimization, low testosterone, B12, Botox, and more. KeyTWellness.com. Why not feel your best again? KeyTWellness.com. This is Vinyl Voices Radio here on ESPN. We are back oh hanging out with Shane on me, Justin Dayas, I'm John Denman, and, well, uh, you guys missed a good story. <laughs> <laughs> we can tell it again. Yeah. <laughs> it won't I think be that funny. It's going to find its way. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I'm pretty there's, sure it will. There's so much. Yeah, so uh, next song that we're going to listen to. Yeah, so I'm just going to, let's just go right to it because... We have, we have to hear the story of this song. So the next song is called Ebo. There's a lot to break down. Yeah. So okay. let's just get right into it. Mm. So, okay. No. In between, you guys may not Don't know pad this. it, Eddie. No. <laughs> the only thing padded here. Nothing is padded. That's it. <laughs> not, it's all natural here. Um, 
So mm. pretty much a bowl is a, uh, it's like a cleansing ceremony that we do in Santeria. And it's, Cubans are very, very funny people. You know, yeah. they can make a joke about anything. And, mm -hmm. and really like the ongoing joke is like, uh, when you're crying about something you've already done, you're cleaning for, oh, it went out with the bowl. You know, it's it's gone. It's done. You know, don't worry about it no more. But it's a it's an ongoing thing. If they catch you talking about it or fussing about it or something, no, no, I was out with the wolves. So that's what that song is generally about. Was about you know going through your emotions and having to get rid of things. And you know, part of the symbolism of putting the heart in the paper bag and just tossing it. You know, so that's why we're. Like I said, hoping for a tampon commercial endorsement or something like that to go to go along with it. I could see them on the beach <laughs> singing at bowl. <laughs> yeah, with tampons. Where else would you need a tampon? At the beach. Hey. At the beach. Yo, you don't want me to cut the beach. Talk about shark feet. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Don't oh, yes. And that you are welcome. You're welcome. See, I do tell jokes. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a lot of them, actually. They're so lame. So this song actually did inspire... Tampons. <laughs> at, at a show. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. They, uh, there was a, a group of girls out there that had some tampons that were swinging them around like t-shirts at a concert you know <laughs> and it, was, it rained that night too it did after rain. we did it no. it yeah crazy, and it was really hot too so we were grateful for yeah. that Man. not like today we're not grateful for that <laughs> <it. laughs> <laughs> right there <laughs> i like it i like it and but yeah if you need to get rid of too. something you just you just get in a bowl and you get rid of them yeah a little witchcraft for you there. That was the first time I ever autographed a tampon. That was wild. Oh, yeah, you <laughs> autographed a tampon. The first time. What did you write with? The first time. A marker. <laughs> <laughs> I always have silver shiny markers, so it was probably Glorious signature. <laughs> Cotton, just talking, uh, or listening to a song, you, as we're listening to it, you guys are talking about this is one of the first ones you really kind of harmonized on together, and so I wanted to ask Jules about that because on the break we were talking about your singing, coming into the band, kind of your background, and it was super interesting. So tell us about about all of that. I don't know where to start. Well, I'm a professional shower singer, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Best acoustics in the world, you know? Mm -hmm. So like, I used to just fully clothe, of course, you know? That was before OnlyFans, and no, I'm just kidding. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> No, it but like, me. so I, <laughs> I learned from the best. <laughs> so I would just sit in my bathtub, and I was like, this is the greatest place to sing. Nobody's bothering you. If you have to take a sh then the toilet's right there. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we the, the, the for all of you boys. No, yes, right. Extra the beer fridge. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right fridge, there. you know. That's no. for our rosé. I would just sit there, and I would just sing, and I would just, you know, have fun, and... You know, I would put YouTube videos out there. They're probably somewhere down the Google rabbit hole. Who knows? It was Instagram. That's where I, I first saw her on first. Instagram. She showed me her, and, too. I'm and I had met her before that, but I didn't really know how she sang. And I, I was scrolling, doom scrolling one night, and I saw her singing this cute little song, and I was like, oh, my gosh. I wonder if she would want to sing with me. No, she don't want to sing with me. She's too good. And then, like, I just hit her up randomly one day and hit in and just walked away. And then, like, five minutes later, she's like, yes, I would love to. And the funny part is I would do that with her, too, because she would post videos. I'm like, oh, my God, she's amazing. She sings so great, man. I'm and then so I see that text just pop up. I'm like, oh, my God, oh, my God. I'm so excited. She's like, so I need some backup vocals. Would you like to come? I'm like, I'm right there. Let's go. <laughs> and, like, the first time, I was just writing that song. We had already had a few songs, and I was just writing a bowl. And uh, she came in, and I like I heard her voice singing with. We were doing Baby Daddy, and I just had all these ideas for like surfy kind of Shirelles and Beach Boys, yeah. and like all these sounds. And I'm like, can you do this? Can you do that? And she just did it like 
like nothing. We were just sitting she, there. She was sitting in the bathtub. Yeah, like, yeah, for real. She was back in the bathtub, just like, do I want But it's so yeah. wild because, would, yeah. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, because she would be like, so I wanted to be like this type of approach. So she would mention like a band and I'm like, who's that? And she's yeah, like, right. what do you mean, who's that? And then it all goes back to like, that's when I had to tell like the whole story about how my parents are deaf. That's sign language is my first language, so. Whatever, like, I heard on the radio, because I'm a 90s baby, I was born in 89, so, like, I am the baby of the band. <laughs> <laughs> I will own that title. No. <laughs> but you said you didn't really grow didn't up really, listening to yeah, music. Yeah, there was no need for that. Like, we, we were watching TV at home, it was on mute. I didn't really know about volume buttons or anything like that. I just thought captions, closed captions, was, like, a real thing. Like, I mean, it is a real thing, but, like, a norm for me. So, like, when I told her all that, she's like, oh, get ready, girl. You're going to have some fun. So, like, she literally just, like, we had fun. You, yes. you know who X-Ray Specs is? You know who the Smiths are? Yeah. Well, just going just, through the cramps. Yeah. Mm. The cramps and black flag, everything you can think of. Like, like three ditto. days that later, ditto. you were ready. Awesome. Yeah. 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 Was she ready. was. She was. She, she took the shame on me boot camp. Really? Yes. When we make a movie and we do the montage part of it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, awesome. But even to the <laughs> day, like, when they're, like, blessing the feeds with, like, I say blessing because for me, it's, like, to me, that's, like, the greatest love language for me. It's, like, if you're sharing your music with me, I'm, like, oh, I get to know your mental space and your deep secrets and stuff because it's music because it's so personal and intimate. Yeah. And, like, for me, like, I always spoke sign language, so, like, I didn't learn English, like, really confidently until I was, like, seven years old. And my confidence came from my first music class because I was like, what is this? I mean, you mean I can actually produce sounds with my mouth like that? <laughs> Dirty joke coming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm holding back. Holding back. <laughs> holding back. <laughs> Real it in, Jules. <laughs> so, like, I would just start, you know, singing in the shower. And I remember one time my brother would, was like banging on the door. Like, what? It's like, hey, are you singing? Is that you? And I'm like, yeah, it's me. Damn, girl, you can sing. <laughs> that's, how her, yeah. that's how her brother talks. Yeah. No, no, hurry up. Yeah. You know, hurry up. Hurry up. I got to pee. Uh, <laughs> no. She told me that whole story about her parents. I know. It, I was it, just like, what? I can't, oh, and like, for me, yeah. I can't just, imagine. What a, what a story, yeah. yeah. Not and growing you, up. Like, and in my house was no always music. Everything yeah. was music. Yeah. Yeah. Just like, it was like there was never any quiet. I hate dead air. You know, dead air is like scary to me. It's too quiet in here. All I hear is myself. Yeah. <laughs> so, mm -mm. and it kind of went full circle because, like, when I'm not doing music, like I'm in deaf, ed deaf, ed deaf education. So now I'm teaching kiddos who are deaf and hard of hearing, and their favorite class is music because I put so much love into music when I'm interpreting and teaching it to them too. That they're like the biggest fans of music too. So it just kind of went real yeah. full circle for me. That's awesome. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. <clears throat> it's an incredible story and you know i mean this band is just people that have heard y'all know everybody has a different thing that they tune into the fact yeah. that you're also musically adept and that there's all this different genre blending that comes together but it always seems to come back to these voices it yeah. just does you know i mean we got lucky that that we sing so well together Aww. Because if she didn't, good lord. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. There's so many stories. The first time she really got me to like sing was oh, yeah. like the song Eve. And like, she was, that's the first Which time I learned that you have to sing from your vagina. <laughs> That's another joke. I this is the first. You know, it's the first on this show, y'all. Yeah, and then the depths. From the depths of your mm. warning. It, up. <laughs> it is a thing. It Look it up. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, we got one over here. <laughs> <laughs> but like I was, I was just telling her like on the way I was like, "Do you know?" And I tell her every time, "Do you know how lucky I am and how blessed I am to have just amazing band family like this?" Like, oh my god! Like, I never would have thought I would be in this moment because I still remember me as the girl singing about Dove. She likes Sp <laughs> you know, like or my SpongeBob. <laughs> SpongeBob, you know. Imagination. Yeah, yeah. you know. And, and like I was telling you, like I remember going by Continental and going. 
one day I'm going to be singing in there. And I remember seeing you in the suffrage there, and I was just like, man, these people are cool. And I'm like, oh, it's Pat. I love Pat. I'm cool <laughs> with Pat. And so, like, I have, like, their album, and, like, I have, like, a little music room, too. And I'm just like, damn, that's just so crazy how, like, I know all these people now. Mm -hmm. I'm like, whoa, and they're all family. It's yeah. so great. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're definitely a band fam around yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, some a little tighter than others, but yeah. all still yeah. super we're, tight. We're in too deep. Right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. We yeah there's only one way out. A <laughs> lot of yeah. time together. Yeah. Of time. <laughs> and it's so great. No regrets. <laughs> Good. All right, let's take another quick break. When we get back, we'll talk more with Shame on Me. This is Vinyl Voices. Be right back. GT Wellness, our friends down in Dickinson, is where you need to go if you're feeling sluggish, non-energetic, and non-motivated, not just when you're hungover. Get to know your numbers. As we get a little older, our hormone levels change, men and women. GT Wellness can help. Weight loss, hormone optimization, low testosterone, B12, Botox, and more. GTWellness.com. Why not feel your best again? GTWellness.com. For over 30 years, the attorneys at Adley Law Firm have helped navigate their clients through car and truck accidents, premise liability claims, and other types of personal injury cases. They are board certified and have an aggressive reputation with insurance companies, and their caring approach to clients has made them one of Houston's best Google-reviewed personal injury firms. Live chat now with an Adley Law Firm representative at adleylawfirm.com or call 713-999-8669 for a free consultation. No fees unless they win your case. 713-999-8669. Welcome to Vinyl Voices with your hosts, John Denman and Jesse Sandejas, where the music flows as freely as the beer. Every day is something new. This is Vinyl Voices Radio. <laughs> <laughs> Shame on me is hanging out on Edward. Uh, what's up? Having a good old time. It is, it is. No, appreciate you guys coming out here, especially storming the weather. You I know. know. Mm. That's yeah. kind of our thing. Coming up to the, the Piney Woods of Houston yep. area. Yeah. Up here, you know, it's not the easiest drive, but it's not a hard one, but there's always yeah. traffic. Yeah, the yeah. river was trying to meet us on the freeway. <laughs> yeah. It was looking pretty high over yeah. there. I was like, oh! <laughs> White knuckle in the... <laughs> yep. Lucky we know how to swim. Yeah. We appreciate well, that. I do. Mm -hmm. oh, Making the oh. trek. That's new. Sorry, Thank babe. you guys for having us. Appreciate it. <laughs> yes. Do we have a breakthrough on the couch? What, what happened? Yeah. No. So. <laughs> Just more of the same. More of the same? Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> Giggly girls on the damn show, you know. <laughs> well, it's awesome. Uh, yeah, you know, back to the style of music you guys play. You know, definitely a lot of rockabilly undertones going on to do it. And then I know we during the break, you're talking about the next songs. Like it's a long one, and we'll get to that one then uh, in the fourth segment. But this song, let's talk about this one. Yeah, uh, "Hey Girl." Hey Girl. Yeah. Hey Girl. Um, "Hey Girl" is a song that's kind of inspired by some, you know, uh, things that I've gone through uh, with me and my sister. My dad had dementia. It got really bad really quick, and. Uh, kind of just took over our everybody's lives our whole lives and uh you know they're just getting through it and I really wrote that as a tribute to my sister because she was the main one there uh during the pandemic during all of that you know staying home and being there with him and there wasn't a lot of contact even like during that time everybody was kind of staying away from each other you know so that was that was kind of hard too um, but it's just a, a tribute. It's a love to a love song to to little girls, big girls, uh, anybody going through it. Um, that's that's the song. Hey, girl, you know I love you. At yeah. least you got that right. <laughs> it's super like uh, you know, you know, encouraging and just. Yeah, you know, it, I mean, it's just it's hard in general being a girl. You know, especially now. You know, well, anytime, but. But now every every bit of information is available to everyone, and it's kind of 
corrupting, you know, to, to see yourself when you have so many visions of other people. You know, there's all these different versions and they want everybody to look like this or everybody to speak like this or like this one, have this phone, have this, you know, like, and, you know, being yourself is like the highest honor you could give yourself. And like the joy you get just from, from knowing somebody's got your support, you know, <laughs> It makes a big difference. You know, you feel like you can do anything. You're invincible. Yeah, the freedom. Yeah. Right? We, we like to just forget about what, it, what everybody else think, thinks matters. For real, it yeah. is all about freedom. I mean, once you get that, pla that place in your mind where, like, this is what I want to do, and this is what makes me happy, and this is how I'm going to do it, and you just keep going. You don't stop. You, you know, that's that's the hard part is to, to keep going. So it's it's really that much better and sweeter when you have people around you to support you and keep pushing you. And like we hear it all the time, like people will come get us all together. They'll come and find me and Jules and bring us together and like <laughs> keep going. Don't stop. Just keep doing what you're doing, you know, and that's 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 Hey Girl right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let's do it. The story you told uh, about your dad with dementia, and I mean that's always just terrible. terrible yeah. thing you go through, and then so your sister was there. I mean, that's a very good song. Yeah, so, I lost just... him in 2021. Um, yeah, he he uh, he became very uh, aggressive as he progressed, and we we tried our best with him, you know, but when it gets to a certain point in dementia where you can't do anything but just let go, you know? And uh, it's it's a hard thing to watch. And my sister was right there front and center, you know, smiling away, still making sure he had his things that he liked. And, you know, he was smacking the hell out of the, <laughs> the rest of the, the of everybody else. But, but, you know, he still had his moments where he would come to and he, He'd be like, Miha, I'm so sorry, you know, like, and 
and then he'd be gone again, you know, and uh, I can imagine, you know, what other people that had to do it for longer, you know, because four years is a long time, but there's people that get it in their, like, you know, midlife, you know, right, now right. it's begin beginning to, you know, to get a hold of people earlier and earlier. And uh, my dad was a Vietnam vet, so <laughs> he was trying to scale fences and, <laughs> and everything. It was crazy. Just trying to understand what what he's seeing. Yeah, in those it, it was hard, man. Everybody in my family, you know, was kind of like affected by it. And so even his family, you know, his dad would, would be talking to him when he'd talk in Spanish to my dad. He'd just be able to like remember things yeah. and start mm -hmm. start talking, you know, so. Yeah, but that was Hey Girl. <laughs> yeah, it's so unexpected. I think that's uh, like the beauty of this thing that we're doing. Yeah, so. I, you know, I, I never really get to talk. I mean, I talk all the time about my music to people, but like, I, I mean, I've never documented it in any way or anybody been interested enough to ask, I guess. But but thank you for letting me uh, be able to vent yeah. that out. No, we love that. That's what this is about, you know, like here hearing where this stuff comes from because you know sonically we can sit here and talk about the things that everybody yeah. can hear in the song yeah. but to know where it really came from you yeah. know that's a that's a such a cool thing to share thank you that's yeah. uh, a yeah, pleasure and, to share and that story is a powerful one too yeah, yeah well anything i can get out of here and put out somewhere else is is like doing me the favor you know like it's kind of like I, uh, I guess a lot, a lot of musicians. I know I do this. Like, once you you cr you start creating a song and then you you structure it out and now you know how you're gonna play it and the next thing to do to to make sure it's done is record it. You know that way it's just done and you can leave it there and have it out there for everybody. So that's the goal. <laughs> yeah. That's... Yeah. So like the writing process. Yeah. How does that work out? Uh, I do most of the writing. Well, yeah, I do all of the writing. I write the lyrics and that I'm gonna sing. Uh, we uh, sometimes and it's it's she has bass. a rhythm. Sometimes yeah. she'll have a bass line, mm -hmm. or sometimes I have just he'll have a, a riff. an idea. A sick that, riff. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he comes honest. out with all of them. Yeah, he comes out in his red jacket. Right, really. and his uh, he's like like Tom Cruise. I've been listening to some Roy Orbison. Yeah, yeah, for real. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Charlie Crockett's his boyfriend right now. Yeah. Yeah. Charlie Crockett is the one. He's like always listening, but he's so great. I love, I love Charlie. He's it's Texas cool because they live, you know, they're they're together. So like when they're when they have like an idea it goes on a phone and it comes yeah, in a yeah. group and then, like, they got stuff they got stuff like, last night. <laughs> you know it, it's pretty organic you know from my from what i yeah you know where i come into it after they yeah i was gonna with it. ask you because you know trying to draw you in pat's yeah. our professor pat helps yeah. make it all like where it's supposed to be like all the spaces are filled and in the right time and the right uh, tuning. Yeah. Yeah. Even it's chord awesome. wise, sometimes yeah. people tell me like, try this chord. I'm like, there it goes. That's all it. Yeah. It's like we were getting it and we're like, something's not hitting right. We need that. And then he'll be like, he'll show me vocally like, trying to make it sound like, da, 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 da. <laughs> and then we capture it and it's like, all right, that's all it needed. He had, <laughs> he knows how to speak to everybody. He yeah. he communicates very well. So whatever our deal is, whatever our <laughs> malfunction is, he knows how to work with yeah. it. Because <laughs> yeah. I see him sometimes, he's just like look, behind the drum set, like looking at everybody like, oh, well, shit. <laughs> what is going on? If you're going with, diff, you know, being with different bands, every yeah. band has a different yeah. tempo. Everybody in the band has a different, you know, and we've known each other for a really long time. Yeah. So coming into the mix and then in a writing situation, it's real easy, yeah. you know, and I don't have to be pretentious yeah. in like the things that I'm saying in the, or like yeah. pushy at all. Yeah. You know, we love I it. I can see yeah. the vision of what yeah. they got happening. It's like really easy to. Because yeah. um, I can go on forever. Yeah. I have this notebooks second, and notebooks and second notebooks album yeah. crazy. That went real smooth yeah. like, compared to our first one. Well, I mean, the first we one We wrote was like great, three yeah. songs like two days before we went into the studio. Yeah. Yeah. Just so we would have more songs to record because we had booked all this time. We're like, we're going to finish all this other stuff. Yeah. 
real quick, you know, I got an idea and we just sat down and wrote three more songs real quick right. and they were ready to go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> now they're just stewing. We got a couple little things we still got to go in and lay down, but. I know, life is hard. But. And we're going to make some videos. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Find yeah, us on Instagram, how to what, support what us. a lot of bands say. I know. God, it's hard to make videos. It's hard. It's, it's hard to find someone that sees your vision. Like, <laughs> I have a lot of vision. Yeah. But I got good people that know how to wrangle cats and crazy-minded people. So they just like, okay, well, let's get this into that. I'm like, okay. If somebody has focus for me, if I have an adult, I'm, I'm on it. And we're very <laughs> art-oriented. Yeah. yeah. I we were a lot of a lot of artists before we started the band. Okay. Yeah, his oh. art is all over it's, everything yeah. that we do. So most of the time, okay. like we'll have all an idea for a song, yeah, and he's coming up with my stuff. with okay. logos and you know ideas for it. If like if you're at a Shame on Me show, bring some money for merch because yeah. their merch game is. Yeah. We stay on it. Yeah. <laughs> good. Team Romel. Yeah, we had a studio in Fifth Ward for about five years that we just recently moved out of. Mm -hmm. So we're like face to face, literally, with all of our art right now. And yeah. we're like arted the fuck out. You know, <laughs> like, it's like, what do we do with this art? He's like, I don't know. <laughs> like, so I can't art. throw it away. Yeah. I don't know if it's killing me. Oh my god, I think that's going to be the title of the album. It's <laughs> <Just kidding>. closing <laughs> in all around us. For real, for real, poor baby. But he, yeah. I keep him so busy, like art wise, because he's so talented. He's so good. And like, he was, when, when we first met, he was laying carpet with his daddy and and just miserable and hey there's art to that yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah there, hey, for a long he was, time yeah. he'd been doing it since he was like 12 years old and i was like you need to to follow this for a minute yeah. mm -hmm. and i held it down and he that's what he did and we we made it work poor baby mm -hmm. we made it work huh yeah. man dad Aww. i know it's been fun but <laughs> I mean, the art is gonna find a way. Doing art, yeah, yeah. it it's, really does. Yeah, the visual Even, art, e the yeah. Art. The Vi music, I, you gotta sing out of the out of the tub onto the, onto the stages. Yeah, this guy's got He's all the. He's just bands. a natural. I mean, he, you know, he had the, he had the right the right uh, what do you call it uh, focus when he was younger. So. Like, we were just wild children. <laughs> <laughs> he, had, he had some structure. Somebody was yeah. sitting there making him play that piano or something. <laughs> mm. All right, well, we'll, we'll talk some of that in the break about the structure. And uh, back growing up in Humble, Humble Texas. Yeah. Yeah. So, back road. Yeah, yeah. Back road living. I also grew up in Humble. Oh, well, I knew some people out in Humble. I used to live out in Crosby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's take another break. Uh, actually, no. This is again. This is the third segment. Man, you, I always forget. He forgets. But no. Um, it's okay. <clears throat> uh, thank you guys for coming and hanging out on the show. Yeah, it's been a whole lot of time. fun. Unfortunately, <laughs> we got to end this yeah. one. But you will find the next segment on another show. So we'll continue. But this show, we have to end. Okay. Boo. Sorry, guys. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> Come to show. Yeah, to go show. to a show. Go to That's a show. The we That's the only way to do this. Talked about with Shame on Me is their incredible live. Like, mm -hmm. you know, we're just been talking about all the recorded stuff but they're so fun to see live. and if you don't mm -hmm. come i'm gonna put a voodoo spell on you no. <laughs> and i'm a helper <laughs> they're gonna find you <laughs> all right Thank shame on me us. no appreciate you uh, look them up online you can find their music all over the place and videos coming soon to youtubes and the Very rest soon. of them mm -hmm. but uh all their music's online just look them up and and enjoy it enjoy it a whole lot so no thank you guys once again for coming to hang out Thank you. Uh, and on behalf of uh, DJ Muskrash back there, Jason, hey. Jesse, and myself, thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Final Voices Radio. We'll be back next week. Everybody be safe. <laughs>